But the big story, it's more than a sidebar, is Ronald Acuna Jr., who hits the ball off the wall, and he's styling. And players usually keep it in-house, but, I mean, when Freddie Freeman comes out and says, you know, you can't do that in the regular season, certainly can't do it now, and then Snitker also the said it. Well. What do you do with a guy like Acuna, who's so supremely talented? Like, the best thing to do would be to not play him today, but you'd be cutting off your nose to spite your face. Exactly. You can't do it. If, I mean, I said that yesterday. I'm like, I wouldn't play him tomorrow. And everyone's like, yeah, Tex, but you still got That's punishing the rest of the team. I was, I was sick about it. I, I was so upset seeing that. And listen, let the kids play. That's a nice tagline. This isn't letting the kids play. If you, if you hit a home run 480 feet and want to dance a little bit because you're winning, go ahead. If you don't have enough respect for yourself or the game or your teammates, most importantly your teammates, to run out of the box twice this season he's done it, where he's been on first base when he should have been on second, I just don't get it. And this is, this is not a epidemic around baseball that, that there's tons of guys that aren't busting out of the box and getting to second base. This is a Ronald Acuna problem. And you saw the Braves clubhouse yesterday. They were just... They were baffled and frustrated and defeated because you know they've talked to him about this before. And, and he makes he makes I, I'm sorry, Mark, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. He he makes matters worse. He hits a home run that doesn't even give them the lead and he's he's styling around the bases. It's like he doesn't get it. He doesn't get baseball etiquette. Exactly. Not even baseball etiquette. He just doesn't get it. And that's the saddest thing about this is that Ronald Acuña has the chance to be the best player in baseball. When Mike Trout starts getting into his 30s and slows down a little bit, the next man up from a talent standpoint might be Ronald Acuna. And if he pulls this stuff for the next few years, he's not getting there. That, he's not the type of player right now, because he doesn't get it, that anybody can get behind. I mean, I know Braves fans, listen, I spent a lot of time in Atlanta. I'm still a Braves fan deep down in my heart. There's a lot of Atlanta fans that are like, I'm done with him. And, and that's sad for a 21-year-old with that much talent when you have fans that are already turning on you because you don't respect yourself or your teammates enough to hustle out of the box. Can I, can I ask a question, Mark? I, I apologize in advance if this is stupid. Is, it ever, is there ever a difference between a player's lack of hustle and just a, a stupidity for thinking they've hit home runs when they haven't. I mean, yesterday he rounded first base practically with the bat in his hand as if he was sure it was out. Or is it all the same thing? It, they go hand in hand a little bit. Like, um, I, I've been watching this Vontez Perfect uh, story last, last week with, with him getting suspended for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. And his teammates all defended him saying, hey guys, I know what it looks like. He's not trying to hurt anybody. He's a great teammate, blah, blah, blah. He's obviously, that's stupidity. He, he doesn't, in the midst of a game, he can't put two and two together to realize that I can't go hit a guy with my helmet in his head. Maybe it's just stupidity on Ronald Acuna's part that when he hits the ball in the air, in, like instinctively he just wants to dance. Like He's just that stupid. He wants to dance. And it's not him being a bad person or a bad teammate, but the result of it is bad. The result is... You look terrible to your teammates. You look terrible to the fans. And you might have cost the team a game. And I got 15 texts last night from Braves fans. Half of them said, Sticker cost us the game because of some of the moves he made earlier. And, and he, he, he took Keiko out early, which is probably a, a front office move anyway because of the way the game's set up. He emptied the bench early, and then they were shorthanded at the end of the game. The other half said Acuna cost us that game because of the momentum shift.